sitting back and overanalyzing without even doing stuff, but then they don't know how to start. They don't know. They know they need to be a better version of themselves, right? They see other people being successful. They see other people with these great bodies or whatever it is, but yet they're the, a year passes, two year passes, and they're still in the, sitting doing the same thing, mm -hmm. right? What would you say to somebody like that? That's kind of stuck in that kind of monotony. Yeah, pattern. yeah. So due to the nature of the landscape that we're living, it's very difficult to be able to have access to our inner voice. And so as long as you're constantly receiving input and data from other people, asking other people their opinions, looking to social media to try to find what you think you want for yourself, you're gonna have a very difficult time being able to be in alignment with yourself to attract what it is that you want. So a lot of what I teach and preach with people is helping them connect with themselves, eliminating the outside influences. So that's family, that's friends, uh, that's social media and how society thinks as a whole and being able to get into touch with who they are, what they want, separate from all the other influences that are being constantly imposed upon us so they can have an idea of what they do want so they can go after it. But most people living in a state of kind of going after what they want, kind of going after what they see on social media that looks appealing or what the majority of people in their social circle think is cool or desirable. So we're living in a time where based off the nature of the technology that we have, we're very disconnected. And it's not that maybe there is an agenda out there that is really attempting to disconnect people from themselves, but I more so think it's a byproduct of the advancement in technology and the access we have to so many people. And we as humans were not created to be able to adapt to what we have right now. So our minds and, and our bodies are not programmed to be able to take on the new technological advances that we're living in right now. So being able to live in a time where we have no choice but to be in society. If you want to be in society, we have to learn how to be able to disconnect from the world around us, getting more in touch with our inner world, so we're able to stay in touch with what we truly, truly want, so we can find a level of fulfillment and also feel good about the life we're living. Yeah, no, I, I love that. One thing that you said that I thought was pretty powerful is for people to think about themselves and, and think about their true voice as opposed to the outside voices or their family's voices or society. What would you say is a way for somebody to say, Hey, how, how can I find my voice? And, and I'm sure there's different yeah. modalities, but I'm curious about what you would recommend to somebody that you might be coaching. Yeah. So based off the nature of the demographic of people that I work with, there are people that are very forward thinking people that are very naturally driven. Uh, they don't generally have a hard time being motivated or inspired. They go after what they want. So if you are someone like that, I would highly recommend cutting off outside influences in regard to content consumption. Mm. So if you watch a lot of podcasts, if you read a lot of books, if you are constantly scrolling through and seeing the opinions of, of other people on social media, Take some time away from those things. Now, I know generally this personal development community really pushes those things and says they're really good. And now I think to a certain extent they can be in regard to educating and inspiring. But you hit a point in your development within personal development where it no longer serves you to be constantly consuming all kinds of information and all kinds of opinions of other people. So then you have to go to the place, okay, well, let me cut all of that off now and take everything that I learned over the last you know, however many years and see how all of it applies to you as an individual, not based off of how you've seen it work for somebody else. Yeah. So it's taking all that information, removing all inputs, and then being able to put it together in a way where it fits your narrative for what's most aligned to your heart.